I always know what my lure speed is doing. I always know when I set an inline weight and I want it to be at 35 feet down, I can set my fish hawk to 35 feet down and know if it's spinning or not. Um, I think that's the biggest advantage that I've had in the last year and a half in using the fish hawk is that when I have the fish hawk in line with the inline spinner, I think that's the key, is having that same depth and distance. You can put the, the fish hawk down you know, 15 feet and that current could be completely different from what it is at 30 feet. So by coinciding, putting those two pieces together to the puzzle, I think it really helps us answer a lot of questions on why those fish are biting at that depth. So I think the inline spinner and, you know, coinciding with the fish hawk, you know, work hand in hand and making sure that they are at the same depth, not just putting it over the side of the boat, but also being in tune on where it's running. So having a line counter, or also today we're picking it up on our graph really well, so we know exactly where it is, exactly 50 feet where these fish are, so we know exactly what our spinners are doing there.